laid on this blood-stained mattress? Oh, it's a strange story. I suppose you heard about what happened in Place Dauphine? Indeed. I went there. Well, we took in one of the survivors of the massacre. The only survivor, it seems. Despite his serious injuries, he was particularly talkative. What did he tell you? He kept saying that Lafayette was a traitor in the King's pay. That the flaxen-haired hero had deliberately handed his brand new National Guard over to the Automats. What evidence did your guest have? Nothing substantial, unfortunately. It was based on a simple rumor that was circulating in the camp shortly before the Royal Army attacked. It would appear that several volunteers carried a yellow cartridge in their cartridge pouches. Most likely a subtle way for the conspirators to recognize each other. The subsequent disaster would tend to confirm this hypothesis. Uh, vous ne These are suspicions. Nothing more. Right you are. Oh, if only I had proof of this conspiracy. Then I'd be able to scutter the ambitions of that cur Lafayette for good. The would-be dictator's plans would be foiled. I must get to the bottom of this urgently. Very well. I encourage you to do so. But remember that the Marquis could not have acted alone. If you can't find anything implicating him, look into the members of his staff. Start in Place Dauphine, where those brigands sullied the ground with their boots. Not even the commanding officer was spared. Lafayette didn't hand over his army to the king. This must certainly be Colonel Armand. I should keep looking around Place Dauphine. It's not official. Most likely an underground hiding place that can be entered from the riverbank. I'll try to track down Capitaine Lefebvre. If he and his men withdrew to the Société des Amis des Noirs, he must have gone towards the Châtelet. It would have been a desperate move for certain. I doubt any of them survived the retreat. But now that I think about it, the padlock door near the Pont au Change, could that be the entrance? <laughs> There's no point trying to force it. This lock requires a four-letter password. I should follow up Capitaine Lefebvre's footsteps. Deemed as men with crew to associate as I needed more. They must have gone towards the Chatelet. I doubt they survived their retreat. The poor souls. They died just steps from their goal. Lock? What does that mean? Y O R K. Good. The lock opened. The headquarters. This place must be studied carefully. This document bears the signature of the Marquis de Lafayette. So the rumors were true. The Garde Nationale wasn't formed spontaneously. All of this was carefully orchestrated. It is high time the Marquis de Lafayette explained himself.
Monsieur le Marquis, there is a most unfortunate rumor about you going round. Oh, just one, is that? You are accused of having delivered the troops who had gathered in the Place Dauphine over to the king. <sighs> Calumny. This is nothing less than vile slander. Save your breath, General. The rumor is true. I can prove it. There's no point in trying to defend yourself. I know that you raised the National Guard for the sole purpose of taking command of it. There was nothing spontaneous about the uprising. Do you have any evidence to support your accusations? I do. I have the manifesto. <sighs> bon sang. Why resort to this manipulation? You must understand what I have done. I did for the good of the kingdom. I wanted to stop this massacre while protecting the queen and the Dauphin. In the name of the people, Aegis. But an actual uprising of the people would have inevitably led to disaster. Only professional soldiers could organize and lead the resistance. Who were your accomplices? My brothers in arms. The brave men of the Régiment de Saint-Ange. Veterans of the American War. Men who, at the Battle of Yorktown, brought an empire to its knees. Alas, we gravely underestimated the enemy's forces. We thought we would face an infantry supported by a handful of machines, but an entire army of automats. It was unthinkable. Some accuse you of harboring a lust for power. The circumstances were to your advantage. These aspersions are all too familiar to me. But tell me, if I wanted the crown for myself, why did I not take it when I returned from America? When I had seasoned troops at my command and the people sang my praises with one voice? No, that makes no sense. Though I readily admit that I do believe I am worthy of fulfilling an important role for the queen after her son is crowned. Lieutenant General of the Kingdom, for example. Or even, if circumstance requires, the Regent. Voila. Now you know everything. I haven't left anything out. However, this truth, if it were made public, would play right into my enemy's hands. So I ask you not to reveal anything I've just told you, and to give me the manifesto. C'est entendu, General. Here. Aegis, by doing this, you're not saving my honor. You're saving the future of the entire kingdom. Oh, and one more thing. Can you tell me where I can find my detractor? The one who told you the rumors about me? I cannot tell you anything, General. Oh, no matter. I will not let this serpent continue to vilify me. I shall get redress for these aspersions in the end. Do as you wish, General de Lafayette. General, there is an alarming rumor about you going around. Huh. Just one, is there? You are accused of having delivered the truth. Calumny. The part of this I cannot tell you that, General. No matter. It's of no importance. I know my enemies, and they are wasting no time. The day will come when I shall make them pay. Goodbye, Monsieur le Marquis. Monsieur Marat. Madame? I'm surprised to find you here. Did you follow me? Didn't you know? The Duke's allies are always impeccably informed. Some even say that we have eyes and ears everywhere. What do you want from me? To tell you the truth, I can't wait to hear what you've discovered about the matter at hand. And I was afraid you might leave me in the lurch. You can never be too cautious these days. That's why I decided it would be better for me to come to you. You were right. Lafayette was behind this purportedly popular uprising. Aha! I've got him at last. But he had no intention of handing his men over to the king. His goal was to raise an army and command the troops himself. It doesn't matter. These troops would have allowed him to crush the patriots and set himself up as a dictator. He lied to the people. He lied to the Assemblée Nationale. His time has come. 
All I need is for you to give me the proof of his treason. I have no proof, monsieur. You will have to be satisfied with my word. Your word? What good is your word to me? Do you think I can convince people by repeating baseless accusations? Believe me, I have tried, but without much success. No, it's useless. I must admit defeat. We will have either the King or Lafayette, one despot or another. In either case, my fate is sealed. I will soon join the Duke in exile, and I will abandon my beloved people to their doom. I have no other choice. From Marat. Marat. It's always Marat. Nothing can stop that swinish mudslinger from slandering the most upstanding subjects in the kingdom. Ah, if I had gone hold of him, I would have ensured he loses taste for gossip, believe you me. Me. Throwing the people to the wolves. What a foul accusation. I see the Duke d'Orléans' hand in this. A prince without a kingdom, but a master in the art of treachery. From exile, the wretch will stop at nothing to bring down the dynasty. He would go so far as to do away with the queen and her children. But I don't intend to let it happen. The day is fast approaching when I will make him pay. Goodbye, Monsieur le Marquis. Monsieur Marat. Madame? I'm surprised to find you here. Didn't you know? Some even say... What do you want from me? To tell you the truth, I can't wait to hear. And I was afraid you might leave me. You can never be too cautious these days. I found no incriminating facts. Nothing to indicate that the Marquis was involved in a conspiracy. Come now, what do you mean? Are you sure you're not leaving anything out? Why do you assail this man so? Because I will not permit things to go from bad to worse. I will not allow the Patriots, who are now fighting our tyrant, to suffer yet another oppressor. That's why, in the name of the French people, I ask you one last time, do you have any proof to give me? No. You must believe me. Eh bien. If that's true, then there's no hope for us. I must admit defeat. We will have either the King or Lafayette, one despot or another. In either case, my fate is sealed. I will soon join the Duke in exile, and I will abandon my beloved people to their doom. I have no other choice. No, General. You'll forgive me for choosing to hold on to it. In that case, my fate remains in your hands. Can you at least tell me where my detractor is hiding? The one who is spreading these charming rumors about me. I cannot tell you anything, General. Oh, no matter. I will not let this serpent continue to vilify me. I shall get redress for these aspersions in the end. Do as you wish, General de Lafayette. Goodbye, Miss. Monsieur Marat, Ma I did what? To tell you the truth, I can't wait to hear what you... And I was afraid you can never be... You were right, uh, but his goal was to... It doesn't matter. He lied to the... All I need... Here. The details about the operation are written in this manifesto. Madame, I didn't expect so much. The end of Mottier de Lafayette. The executioner has signed his own death warrant. I will now share these revelations with the people's representatives. Long live the Assemblée Nationale! Mara, ça par exemple, you're certainly a bold one. Monsieur, I have come to pay my respects. Mon pauvre ami, you must be out of your mind to come and defy those you so cruelly maligned. Maligned, you say? This remains to be seen, Monsieur de Mirabeau. I have here a document that its author has amusingly entitled Le Manifeste Henri V. It appears that the name Louis has fallen from fashion these days. Quiet, scoundrel, or I'll make you swallow your tongue! Come now, you wouldn't dare, my dear Mottier. Not when we're in such fine and plentiful company. Monsieur, in these pages, you will learn of the vast plot devised by the Marquis de Lafayette and his sinister conspirators. 
you will discover how our national hero orchestrated the so-called popular uprising that gave rise to the National Guard. Bon sang. Monsieur le Marquis. Huh? You will also learn that he has proclaimed himself General-in-Chief in the hope of making himself King in turn, and that it is his lust for power to which the Patriots who fell in Place Dauphine owe their tragic fate. C'est incroyable. You must believe it, cher monsieur. Because to add insult to injury, this Tom Fool was daft enough to sign his missive. Par tous les saints. If what Mara says is true, this is treachery of the basest sort. Well, Monsieur le Marquis, do you deny it? No, I don't. The loathsome Mara speaks the truth. I wanted to create an army that would be able to rid our kingdom of our anointed executioner. Just as we freed America from England's choking grasp, I only kept it secret to avoid causing more chaos. Can you understand? You defied the people, Lafayette. This is enough to condemn you. So be it. You won't hear from me anymore. I leave the fate of the nation in the hands of the speechifiers and demagogues. I encourage you to say your prayers, gentlemen. For our end is near. As for you, rat, go back to the cesspit from whence you came. You should never have come out. I will gladly follow that order, General. Such is my pleasure that it will be your last. <laughs>